you know, I live right on Clyde Street, so uh, and I've, I've been a neighbor for uh, since the since the early mid '80s. So I was here for the '88 Open, and along the way, I realized that this was New Bet's house. I was never a uh, really good golfer, but I partnered with Tom Martin, Red Martin, one of the great uh, benefactors and players of the uh, uh, for the We Met Fund. And uh, so along the way, I basically realized uh, that this house should be in the in the hands of golf somehow. And I said, someday when you're ready to sell your house, I mean, why are you? And they were taken back, right? They were stunned. They said, we're not selling our house. I said, I know you're not selling your house now. Someday you will. Maybe 10 years from now, maybe 15 years now. But if I'm alive, I'll be a buyer. And they thought I was a bit yeah, yeah. weird, I think. And then they left yeah, and kept going. And then I never bothered them. But maybe once a year, I'd remind them. Say, I remember, I'm a buyer. And I was, I was stunned, actually, a year and a half ago when Mr. Wilder was going by. He said, Tom, if you're still interested, we're getting ready to sell our house. And I, of course, I had no time to think about it. So I said, well, what did I tell you? I'm a buyer. By the way, that was 20 years between the, it was 99 between the first time I talked to them. And this is 20, this is 19 when this happened. So it was a good 20 years that went by. And, uh, you know, and uh, so that was the opportunity. So that's how it all began. And then uh, ultimately, I put a group together with uh, members from the country club. And we put an LLC together to buy the house. And then the original plan was to was to gift it to the country club um, upon raising the money to to, uh, to to pay for it. Not because the club couldn't go off campus and buy another piece of real estate when there's so much going on on campus. So, uh, so and then with the US Open coming up, they basically, you know, they sort of, maybe back up a year ago, they had uh, several pro, assistant pros live here for the summer for that, and they were close to living here just as the house had been loved to us. But when it became apparent that the club couldn't really engage with the house right away, then we pivoted and said, well, fine, we're not just going to sit for the next year. We will renovate it and then gift it to the club. So that was the, and then we went full board to pull everything together to uh, uh, do, the, uh, do the renovation. So that's, that's the, uh, the sort of rose medallion that I mentioned earlier. And you can you even see this before, there's so much paint on this, so layer after layer. Um, and let's take a look upstairs. So this is Francis's bedroom, and he, uh, he, he and his brother have lived here. This is the original flooring. When we bought the house, this, the flooring had an uh, inch thick wall-to-wall -wall carpeting with a layer of felt underneath that, and then black glue underneath that. And, and uh, the original flooring contractor said, we can't do anything in this, we'll just put a new floor on top. After they stripped it, they said, huh, we're, we're, we're taking the floor out. So we took it out, and again, our contractor, our contractor C.H. Newton, uh, took the flooring to his mill shop and found it, uh, stripped it, denailed it, uh, tongue and grooved it, and cleaned it, planed it, and here it is back in place. And it's been treated with one, Coat, one coat or two coats of time oil, which preserves it, and then uh, that provides moisture into the, into the flooring as well. And then we'll come back post open and put the uh, polyurethane on this. Again, pieces donated, like that chair, which is a wonderful piece of furniture, um, and the lamps. Oh, everything's done again to the 1900 era. But Frank, much more importantly, Francis could have seen. Right from his bed here, he could, see, could have seen the 17th green. Remember that the original green was closer to Clyde Street because when they widened Clyde Street, they moved the green over. But when it's when the trees are bare, you can see the existing 17th part of the green. You can see the bunkers in front of it. But he would have been able to see most of the golf course uh, from this side because the trees weren't anywhere near as thick at that time. One of them basically. Uh, originally uh, called me and said, he heard about the project and could he participate? And he said, sure, good. And he asked, you know, what did I want for, you know, to assist financially? And I, 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 uh, I told him, he said, fine, I'll do that. And then uh, he said, do you have any other projects? And I thought he was talking about real estate and, and uh, my, my business. And he said, no, 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 the house. I said, oh yeah, well, 
you know, so we have a quote for the uh, new TV system. I said, well, how much is that? I told him. He said, I'll do that. I said, wait a minute, stop. Now he's, he's up there for some significant dollars. I said, what's the hook? What's your interest? And uh, he said, look, I'm a Lament scholar. I, wouldn't, I went to college because of Francis Lament. I've been relatively successful. It's simple as payback. So it's payback. Uh, what they did revolutionized ball, and it opened it up to, to the common man and woman, and it basically revolutionized golf in the U.S. And uh, but I'm not the history buff, but what he's done, I think, carried through this day. But that victory, um, I, I, I look at, you know, the, I look at it as a combination of the, the Stanley Cup, the you know, World Series, the Super Bowl, he's got all that stuff. Those are all big team sports. He was, he was one person who changed it. You might have Tom, Tom Brady was, was uh, let's see, GOAT, right? <laughs> Francis was the first one, the greatest of all time. Well, his, his self-confidence, his dedication, his, his, his uh, tenacity, and, but he had his humility. And that's carried through his whole life. Right? And, but I also like the Eddie, the Eddie Lowry story. I mean, the precocious kid who basically says, we can do this, we can win, you know, and, and, and then goes on to life as being the ultimate outside person, you know, and uh, uh, so a good combination of that teamwork, uh, yet the individual performance of Francis Man is a, is a uh, great example, but especially in these times of such, you know, tough things happening you know, around us in the world. What a great story, you know, greatest game ever played, that says it, right?